How's it going, everyone? Welcome back for another rip. Today I'm going to do some Archives Baseball. To me, this was a product of the year. Personal preference, for better or for worse, I went all in on Archives Baseball. And I feel like I got some pretty nice cards out of it. This has the ideal balance between value, a chance at some nice hits, two autos in the box, and price. Uh, these boxes coming in around $125. Or the reason why Archives is so appealing to me is because of the autographs. I don't think there's another product in the hobby that provides autographs, major leaguers, the fan favorite autographs that Archives is known for. So, you know, if you're an autograph chaser, like I am, I feel like this is a good way to get it. But I'm gonna go ahead and try something different. I think I'm only gonna rip six packs at a time. We'll make this a four part video. Something a little bit more digestible, maybe seven or eight minutes long is kind of what I'm aiming for. Gonna try a new format, we'll see how it works out. Hope you enjoy the rip, let's get right into it. As I mentioned, probably only gonna rip about six packs from this box. So let's just take a stack and see what we get out of it. Six packs represent the price of one blaster. Considering we're gonna get two guaranteed autographs from the box. Uh, the way I'm looking at this, I divided the box into four parts. Uh, this might represent one the cost of one blaster, $30 or so. And, uh, you know, if I were to go to Walmart and you said I could buy blasters off the shelf and have a one in two chance of pulling an autograph, I'd do it in an instant. And uh, this is how I'm going to go ahead and do these uh, six packs here. So uh, Archives, certainly my favorite set of 23. Good checklist, 300 cards, three different card designs. Uh, the older designs here. Love them. Beautiful cards. Looks like we already have a, looks like we have some kind of upside down card in there. But let's get into it. Miguel Amaya. Tris Speaker. Lots of old timers in color. Pretty cool. Jose Abreu. Cody Bellinger. Upside down. Ezekiel Duran. Now this is the first year issue. These are not numbered, but this is going to be a short printed rookie card here. Nice Ezekiel Duran. Stephen Kwan. Carlos Correa, Manny Machado. Pretty nice first year card there. Got the stamp there, first year, indicating a short print. 25 year old player, so a couple more years. Pretty nice rookie card to get there. We have Max Muncy, Casey Mize, and Ozzy Albies. D.L. Hall rookie card, J.J. Blade, another Triss speaker. So two Triss speakers out of the two packs. Roberto Clemente, cool card right there. And a Daryl Strawberry, third pack of cards. Tim Anderson, Matthew Liberdor, Triss and Casas rookie card. Herman Marquez, Dylan Carlson, Mel Ott. Looks a little bit like uh, Aaron Judge. I don't, know if, I don't know if anybody else gets that resemblance there. Braden Shoemake rookie card for the Braves. It's a very cool satchel page. Nice to see the colorized image there. Three more packs. Got a Max Scherzer. No more Garcipara. Sammy Sosa. Ooh, got a foily back there. Um, I think that will be a parallel. Nolan Gorman. Alcantara. Javier Baez. Eloy Jimenez. I think this will be a parallel. I can't think of anything else that's... Uh... No, this won't be a parallel. This will be an insert. Big Hilltoppers. So I'm guessing it'll be a pitcher. Looks like a Greg Maddox there. That's actually a pretty sweet card. I don't think I've seen these, but a nice Greg Maddox card there. Season's best insert. I think they have four or five different designs that they've used for past tops inserts. And uh, definitely a retro insert sometime from the 90s, if I had to guess. 95, 96. Wasn't collecting baseball, but there's some similar inserts in basketball. 
Fifth pack of cards. Uh, Bo Jackson, Raiders PC. Bo Bichette. Bo Naylor. Two bows back to back. Actually, three. What the hell? Three bows back to back. Bo Naylor, Bo Bichette, Bo Jackson. Is there anybody else in the majors named Bo? I want to know. Um, just like Bo. <laughs> Uh, Willison Contreras, Albert Pujols, it's like a Reed Detmers 3D insert, you'll use the glasses and it has almost a 3D effect, there's an Oswaldo Cabrera rookie card, and a Logan O'Hop rookie card as well, last pack, let's see what we get out of this one, it's good to know there's still two autographs left in the box if we don't hit anything in here. Just trying something a little different, thinking of different ways to open up cards. You know, maybe not by the hobby box or by the blaster, but just a couple packs at a time. Reese Hoskins, Cal Ripken Jr. I think you get about the same amount of enjoyment. Uh, David Ortiz, and I get to make a few more videos. So Mariano Rivera, Bobby Witt, and George Brett on the back, I think. Yes, sir. Paul Blackburn, and a Brooks Robinson. So not too bad from the Blaster. Got a couple nice cards here. This Hilltoppers insert, Greg Maddox. That's such a sweet card. I'm going to top load that card for sure. And an Ezekiel Duran short print there. There's a couple of really nice ones there. It's good to know that I've got two autographs still sitting in that box. And uh, can't wait to open them up on another video. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the format. I think something to think about is how we buy cards and how we look at packs, boxes, something like that has been on my mind for a bit. Probably make a few videos on it, but hope you enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think, and as always, thank you for watching.